the most law-breaking counties in Ireland have been revealed. Leash, uh, no, not, not Leash, uh, your man has that, uh, Buff Egan has Leash on the top of my mind. Longford, in fact, Longford are the ones where there is apparently a shit ton of crime, a lot of crime. It strikes me that that's what happens when you spend 30 million on a new church. You remember that, that they spent a load of money on a new church? Well, uh, just to go back to this story for a brief moment, apparently the numbers um, are quite, quite high. Um, I believe it's a hundred, uh, so there you go, Longford, 198 people per 100,000 committing crimes. And uh, yeah, certainly, I mean, you look, look at that church, 30 million they spent on that. You know, it strikes me, you know, somebody, somebody probably came to them and said, listen, this crime thing, it's getting out of hand, maybe a bit more police, a bit more police presence, maybe a bit more community funding, community, maybe build a playground that might keep them busy. Nah, sorry, we're building a new church. What? A 30 million euro church. Seems that maybe the church was the wrong suggestion there. Interesting, though. Uh, you know, it wasn't just Longford that have fared up there. Loud have also particularly uh, been riddled with crime, apparently. This, uh, so Loud, let me see, let me see the numbers for Loud. They are relatively high, quite high, you know, they're one of the, the highest here. Apparently, Loud are up there with the best. They are up about 118 per 100,000. Now, this is maybe, it's it's certainly a little surprising when you consider the fact that Loud are the home to the leprechaun and fairy centre of Ireland. You'd think that that would keep the criminality at bay. They'd be just so busy with the leprechaun and fairy underground cavern that they just wouldn't have time for anything else. It turns out that that was just not true. And in fact, uh, they had plenty of time to go on Nick TVs or, or whatever they had to do.